with you today once again, as what Carla was saying a third time. Someone described me recently as a notoriously eccentric vicar because someone said, you like Muslims too much. And I said, well, I especially like Muslim Shia Muslims very much. And I always feel happy when I'm with Muslims. I really do. I'm not so big complimentary because I know a Muslim care for God and care for God's law. And how could I not, as a Christian, rejoice at that? Now, what Carl mentioned, the book which I've written recently, is called Mahmoud Hussein Forever, Karbala Forever. And um, in uh, uh, the uh, sentence, which is at the front of my book, there is a quotation from Imam Hussein. God is he who knocks down tyrants. God is he who knocks down tyrants. And tyrants are common enemies. A tyrant is the enemy of a common good. A tyrant is like a monster who devours innocent people. And of course, you know, Imam Hussein was killed at the behest of a tyrant. The tyrant pseudo Khalifa of Damascus, who wanted to destroy the Prophet's grandson. You know, in my book I mentioned a very moving for me when I did my research and I found that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam The Prophet so loved his grandchildren, um, Hassan and Husayn, that he played, they played with him on his knees, how he caressed them, how much he kissed them and loved them. It's so very moving. And uh, Husayn was destroyed, not only because it represented true Islam, but also because the Prophet loved him so much. And uh, the tyrant of Damascus, of course, hated that because he knew he was a usurper, he was a, a phony Khalifa, he was a tyrant. Now tyranny, my friends, take many forms. Sometimes it's an individual, can be like Saddam Hussein. Sometimes it's a system. It can be a system of corruption. The word in the Quran, Fasad. A system which is determined on corrupting people, especially young people, as Dr. Masterson will say earlier on. All our young people, not just Muslim, Christians as well, are frightened by a system of corruption, which is materialism, which is hedonism, love of pleasure, which is a perversion of religion. And so, yes, in the Bible, the um, a dreadful uh, tyrant is King Herod, who tried to kill the child Jesus, his Satan Maryam, and murdered many other children in trying to kill the child Jesus. And then there is another Herod, someone who actually killed the prophet, Yahya ibn Zachariah, whose head was cut off. And I was once in uh, Cairo, actually, I saw the shrine uh, built to honor uh, Yahya ibn Zachariah. But again, it is a system of corruption. Now, I don't want to get anybody in trouble, but you know, we got today a prime minister who has not been elected, who <laughs> refuses to obey the will of parliament. I'm not saying anything else, okay? <laughs> I'm sure there are the guys from uh, MI5, Scotland Yard, monitoring everything, but they will take it out on me. I'll be notoriously eccentric vicar. But I want to say also in my book, I mentioned the importance of women because a great French poet, Lamartine, said behind every great project there is a woman. And uh, uh, Dr. Master mentions Zainab, but I speak, I write about uh, Fatima Zahra. 
Alaihissalam. <coughs> the Prophet's beloved daughter, and indeed the uh, the lady of the house, she is at the head of uh, uh, Ahl Bayt. How Fatima, there is a book actually written by uh, an Iranian writer, talks about Fatima as a champion for justice, a champion for the oppressed. Better and trodden, the exploding of the Ummah. Which is the same cause which Imam Hussein was defending at Karbala. And I want to say with all this, gestures towards a final end of times. Because we don't believe that it's all done here, we believe that the meaning of history actually will be at the end. What in Islam is called al -Akhira. And uh, the day of al will be preceded by great struggling, great struggle, or great suffering. And the meaning of martyrdom, of course, is suffering. We can suffer in many ways when we are exploited by a system of corruption. But in the end of time, uh, at the time of al uh, Imam al-Mahdi, and Prophet Jesus will come and fight and destroy Dajjal, the Mosa Dajjal, the Antichrist, an emblem of all the enemies of humanity. But they're also, you know, kind of, also some people who work for Dajjal here and now in our world, you know, disguising themselves as the faithful people. And we've got to be an our God. So, my friends, I want to say once again, what a great honor it is to be with you today. I feel really, I'm, I'm, I cheered up inwardly when I'm with Muslims. And uh, inshallah, our cause will triumph because our cause is just. It is the cause of all the exploited, all the suffering, all the persecution of the world. And like the Uyghur of uh, East Turkestan in China, like the people of Kashmir, like the people of Palestine, the people of beloved Palestine, as people have forgotten Palestine, but it is a common cause. Christians and Muslims must fight for Palestine, for the cause of Palestine. I used to have a friend actually, who was a Christian bishop, and his last words were, we shall meet again in Palestine, inshallah, he was like, okay, God bless you, Barakallah uh, Fikum, and uh, inshallah our cause is just our cause of a triumph. God bless you.